Hi, this is Farooq Fahim. In this video, I'll build an SDN lab using Onos controller. I'll install Onos and Mininet on Linux. Now, Mininet installation is a trivial step, but Onos requires setup of an environment and software packages. And if you're not familiar with any of those or some of those software packages on which Onos depends, that's fine. If you just follow along the steps, at the end of the video, you will have a functioning Onos controller and Mininet so that you can get familiar with Onos and its CLI. The steps I'll follow, first install Oracle JDK 8, Mininet, and Git. Then I'll use Git to clone Onos on the Ubuntu server. After that, I will download Maven and Carafe. The next step is an important one. That's where we'll set up the environment for Onos. Onos comes with certain scripts and tools which refer to the versions of Maven and Carafe. And we just need to make sure that those versions in the scripts are the same as the ones that we download. And I'll show that to you. After that, we'll build Onos using Maven. And as a final step, we'll configure Carafe to load Onos features. So here's a terminal window to the 64-bit Linux server that I'll be configuring for Onos. In my case, it's an instance running on AWS, but that's irrelevant. As long as you have access to a Linux server, 64-bit Ubuntu process is going to be the same. Instead of typing in long commands, I will copy paste these commands and I'll also add annotations so that it's easier to follow. And what I'm doing right now is just doing some housekeeping. And I'll add Oracle JDK, which is different from Open JDK. So this will add that. Now we can go ahead and update APT package. Now that the repository is updated, we can go ahead and install Oracle Java 8. And it asks for accepting the Oracle binary code license. Okay, yes. I paused the recording. It didn't take very long, but still seconds add up. Now we have Oracle Java 8. Uh, let's also install Git because we need Git to to clone Onos. I need to be pseudo for this. Okay, so we have git. So here's the command to clone the latest snapshot of Onos. This will, uh, as I said, it's it's it will get us the snapshot. What I want to do for this video is get the last stable version and for that the tag we have to give the tag and at this time the last one is 1.0.1 that's the ever set if i had not given this this dash b it will download 1.1 1 .1, uh, snapshot which is the pre-release version of blackbird it it's supposed to be released soon, but I don't want to, for this video, I'm not doing a snapshot. I just want to stick with the stable branch and and I'll copy this. So we have Onos. We can go into the subdirectory and I just want to check we have everything. And here's the version, version 1.0 that we uh, that we cloned. All right. The next thing I will do is I will get Maven and Carafe, and for that I'll use the same file structure that is described in the wiki. That will make our life a little bit easier in setting up the environment. I'll show you where to edit if you don't want to use the same file structure, but uh, in this instance, I'm going to, I want to stick to the 
least amount of work needed to to configure Onos. What I, I'm going to do is, uh, uh, so here I'm going to just uh, make two subdirectories, downloads and applications. And you have probably guessed in downloads, I'm going to download Maven and Caraf tar files. Maven 3.2.2 is the recommended version from Vicky. So that's the one that I'm going to download. I have the tar file for that. Now let's do the same. Caraf 3.0.2 is the version that is described on the wiki. So now we have both the tar files and the next step is to extract these packages. So and we'll extract them in applications folder. We have Maven, now we'll do Craf. Same thing in application subfolder. Let's make this a little bigger. Okay, so we have Maven, we have Craf, we have Onos. Now, I wanted to just quickly show you where the there's a script that comes with the Onos package and it has a bunch of tools, environment variable setup uh, and it's it's very handy and it is if you if you in this directory Onos tools dev if you list the directories there's a file bash profile right so that's I just want to show that to you and it's setting Java home it's setting up Maven 3.2.2 uh, Caraf 3.0.2 and you know Caraf root and those and then it has a bunch of functions and commands that that are defined. So we have two options. We can either just execute this script. Uh, but what I do is I am going to append that to my bash RC file. And if I get my bash RC. So here's the command at the very end dot and home onos tools dev bash profile. So when bash RC is executed, it will execute the Onos bash profile also. And I'll have all the environment variables set up. Uh, now, all I need to do is just execute bash RC. So we're done with that. And let's give a quick check. say Java home and it's defined Java home is Java 8 Oracle so that's that's good you know similarly you can uh, and here's the uh, maven that this has been added to the path so now we are we have the environment all set. Next step we will do is uh, build Onos, and we will use Maven, of course. MVN clean install.
and there it goes. Okay, so it's done. Uh, one word of caution: when we when you run this command, the uh, one that I gave uh, MVN clean install on a on a fresh brand new machine, uh, we had just downloaded uh, the tar file, and the first time you run that MVN clean install it is possible that the build may fail build we see here build success and that's a you know that's just how maven works uh, without getting into the details if you have followed the commands just go back and and give the same command again and it will run in fact i had stopped recording on this run and that's what happened to me uh, at first uh, maven failed a build failed and then I issued the command again and it ran through it ran all the tests for the different projects in build has been successful so we are almost done only thing left now is we need to configure carafe we just need to add the features Ono's features in carafe configuration so that when we start carafe it will load the uh, the bundles uh, for Onos and I'm going to use Vim text editor and the file that we need to edit is at carafe root etc org.apache.carafe.features.cfg that's carafe root is you know will take us to the application subdirectory and uh, the right version number and all that so here it is and what I'm looking for is this features repositories. So here I will add Onos. So I'll add comma and there. MVN colon org dot Onos project. I'll I'll add this as an annotation. But now we have added to features repository and let's and here we will add at the boot time which features Ono's features uh, will be loaded so there are these seven uh, features at boot time and that's it we can Save the changes and quit. We are done. Uh, oh, well, we just need to install Mininet, which is a trivial step. One package that I like to have because I'm using a remote server is xterm this is not needed for for onos but uh, i like to be able to open multiple terminal windows on my laptop so i will install xterm you prob if you are running it locally with a with a desktop gui on your linux server you don't need this This is it. We are done. Uh, in the next video, I'll start up Onos and uh, a forwarding plane with Mininet and then just uh, play around with Onos CLI just to, just to see how, how that works. All right.